Hi everyone, in this video we are going to cover how to use Unity's own networking solution Netcode for game objects uh, with Ready Player Me avatars. Now we have a sample package for this that makes your job easier when you want to work with Unity Netcode using Ready Player Me avatars in your multiplayer games. So I already have an empty Unity project and I imported Ready Player Me SDK and Ready Player Me Netcode support packages already in it. So you can go to Ready Player Me GitHub organization you will see Ready Player Me Unity SDK core here. You can copy the Git URL and edit through clicking plus button on the package manager here and edit. Same goes for the netcode support. So you can, in the in Ready Player Me organization, you can search for netcode and import this package the same way. Once we have all the packages, we are ready to go. Click on the netcode support and in the samples tab, you will see two sample projects. One is avatar control, a basic locomotion example where avatars walk with WASD controls. And another one is a small fighting game prototype. Let's import the avatar control and see how it works. Once I import it, I will see avatar control folder highlighted and I will go into avatar control scene. So you will see this scene, blue floor, avatar URL and start buttons. In the hierarchy, you can see there is this netcode setup game object with certain scripts on it. We have a network manager and our player prefab attached to it. We have player prefab's scriptable object for netcode added here. We have unity transport that comes with network manager and netcode setup script is a basic setup script for the UI where button or button functionality is attached and run. If you go to prefabs folder, we will see netcode test character. This pretty much is a empty Ready Player Me avatar. It is a single mesh avatar with a transparent group included in it. So we will have to use Atlas avatars for this. And it has a camera inside for third person view. We have network object from netcode. Network player controller, which takes avatar config, is the main uh, component this package provides that helps you load avatars client network transform, client network animation, and a basic movement script which helps you get the uh, WASD controls and enables the camera if you are the owner of the avatar. I would like to go into network player script and show you what is going inside. Just like Photon, you will need to prepare your prefabs for the characters in the editor and use them, instantiate them later. For this purpose, we created this network player component which is a network behavior. You can attach this to the default avatar you would like to use in your game. And once the avatar URL is received on network spawn, so if the player is the owner of this avatar, avatar could be loaded. If it's an instantiated avatar of some other player, on the value change of the network variable, we can actually load this avatar. Please check Unity Netcode for game objects documentation to learn more about the network variables. And on network spawn is owner is host is client properties and more in either case if the player is the owner or remote player we will be able to load the avatars in all the clients and run them let's take it let's run let's build the scene run it and see how it works i'm pressing ctrl b building the application all right the build is completed it's starting now and we can see example running. I'm gonna go to redplayer.me, copy the URL of one of my avatars, and bring it back to the running example. After clicking on the start button, you will be asked either you want to be a host or a client. Uh, since there is no dedicated server in this case, uh, one of the players will need to host the game itself. So in the build application, I will be host. First, I will see the default avatar, and then my avatar will be loaded on top of it. So I can walk around, control my character, everything seems to be working. Let's go back to the engine and run it in the editor as well. I'm gonna go back to Ready Player Me, copy another avatar URL. And paste my avatar URL, click start button. This time I will join the existing game. I will click on client and it will load and I can see the avatar on the other window. 
I will walk right in front of it here. Let's go to the other window. Let's move it down here so we can see both of the avatars and I can see it moving. So we transfer the avatar URLs to each player. We synchronize them with network variables and they can now move and they are synchronized in both of the windows. If you are looking for a bit more of a challenge, you can import the basic fighting game sample and play that too. It is really essential that you already have knowledge of Unity Netcode and know the basic concepts of it, so you can use this example easily and kickstart your games with Ready Player Me and Unity Netcode multiplayer. Thank you for watching and please don't hesitate to ask your questions.